Hello, dear viewer, beloved, wonderful, wise, caring, taking time. Great to meet you. This is the most important broadcast I have ever made in my entire life. Today is the 8th of January, 12,019, 10,000 added for indigenous count. It is cold snow winter time in Sweden, where I am, in the holy Jordbro. And here is today Amaryllis that is blossoming so divinely here. And together with fabulous Amaryllis, we are witnessing here electromagnetic attack through technical devices that have been um, sold to us and that are in our homes. The modems and mobile phones, foremost. I have the Cornet measuring device for measuring electromagnetic radiation and with that I have witnessed this month's unexpected increase of electric magnetic radiation from this modem of Telia in Sweden. When Wi-Fi is switched off and it is on the blue mode, on the wires attached into these nests. There should not be any radiation from it. But from previous months, I'm measuring high radiation, electromagnetic radiation frequencies. On the very top of the measurement instrument of Cornet. And this means that we are experiencing a change, a shift in the programming that is administered from the Corporation of Telecommunications headquarters. The administration has changed the program. And most of you don't have these cornet and other wise technical devices. And you can't measure this radiation. And you don't have the sensors on your beautiful, wonderful bodies. And you can't understand why you suddenly become more tired, why you become sensing various uh, symptoms. The whole range of symptoms of all diseases can appear as electromagnetic radiation frequency. When it's too high, it will hit you in your weakest link, in the link of your DNA and body weakness. That is specifically for you. So any symptoms can appear. That's why electromagnetic radiation weapons are the wisest and that's why they are the era of electromagnetic weaponry that comes after nuclear war weaponry. This is what we are experiencing here and now. We are experiencing war.
here in Sweden. It's coming from these modems. These modems in Sweden are in each classroom. In the middle of the classroom, they hang them on the ceiling and then they go on radiating the children the whole day. They don't switch them off. It's 24 7. I have been in the schools, I have documented this crime. And in your homes, you think you just have lovely internet. Most of you don't even switch off Wi-Fi because you are uninformed how dangerous it is. But we even, the informed people who switch off Wi-Fi, don't have a choice to protect ourselves. Because even we, when we have switched off the Wi-Fi, the limits are outrageous. The same limits of Wi-Fi exposure, radiation, are there when you switch off Wi-Fi. And um, the second thing, that I want to do with this video is to show you something that has never happened to me before. The direct consequence in my family of this electromagnetic radiation. Because I have one daughter that has mental issues for... she's 30 years old and for 10 years she has had these mental issues. So she's a targeted individual probably targeted by mind control technologies. Nevertheless, I will now very bravely unveil something that has happened to me. First time in my life I'm having a blue eye. So this makes this document documentary very physically obvious of this invisible weapon that is silent weapon for quiet wars that you don't notice. But this is the physical injury I got from my own daughter due to her being exposed to electromagnetic frequencies that make her upset. And she goes crazy, really. So, the hit was here. And this is to document this injury, too. And uh, so, the hit was here. And if I was hit here, I could have died. A couple of centimeters. So it has gone, gone down now. It has gravitated. So uh, I am uh, very grateful to the higher forces who have visualized this suffering in this way though it has become physically obvious what electromagnetic radiations weapons can directly do by upsetting <sighs> mental state of us and even exposing us for mind control and uh, there are fabulous videos on these matters. But right now, the most important issue is that European Committee on Radiation Risk has issued the dose unit, NRAD, for measurement of electromagnetic ra radiation risk and damages and to predict 
electromagnetic radiation risk. And it has also issued limits. And you can find them under this video, the links to these basic safety standards. And generally it goes around just not to get exposed for cancer risks. You would need to limit exposure to mobile <coughs> communications <coughs> under one hour for <coughs> grown-ups and uh, 7 to seven to 18 years old should uh, <coughs> be in the range of 3 minutes to 30 minutes of mobile telecommunication either it's telephone conversation or data mobile data usage or Bluetooth or Wi-Fi usage, not more than that. And children under seven years should not use mobile phones at all, not a minute. And uh, <clears throat> But then we are talking only about the cancer risk. And uh, it's not including the risks of infertility which is, in uh, my understanding, the greatest risk. So, these technical devices are war technology. They are put in our homes, in our houses, in our very private homes, to make us infertile. Do you hear me? There will be no children to our children if we don't stop this warfare exposure. You can't trust your radiation safety agencies. Radiation protection agencies are all corrupt and their specialists are incompetent. Universities and institutes in the whole global network of professional core are incompetent in the issue. They are all in the criminal banking system chipization network that is planning a kill off of 99% of people. Do you hear me? For that, they are using old, after Second World War methodology that is called document with the name Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. This is technical corporate mass murder insanity and we end it here and now. So please go into the webpage bsrrw.org that has a page on electromagnetic frequency warfare where you can download the document of Scientific Secretary of European Committee on Radiation Risk, Professor Christopher Busby with full report on uh, the unit for risk assessment of electromagnetic radiation and even its limits. There you will see references and links that are the best, highest credibility references on the planet that will take you further to the 
networks of scientists and doctors who do know the score and who can protect humanity and all living systems. Because we are still alive and we can still switch off these horrid, horrid devices that our families love. They have fallen in love with these internet applications and the contacts they provide. So they cherish them more than their family. But that is a dangerous dependency that has to be stopped as well. So we need to have certification so that the people who use these technologies are certified. This technology cannot be given freely to everybody. Like right now they are practically imposed on you. And uh, to make all this happen don't forget that we advise you to return to the wisdom of our predecessors who remained their fertility for thousands and probably hundreds of thousands of years. And we need to get safe geographical areas where none of these weapons are allowed to be used, where we can live safely and reproduce. Okay, I have forgotten to take my um, cornet device that I have to show you. So, this is the device. With which you can measure electromagnetic radiation. And here are the units and the limits of uh, old standards. This is not NRAD system. And believe me, you need this technology in your home. There is this antenna on it that you attach here as well. So, if you choose this one, and you can see its model here. So, uh, I will be now contacting Telia I have a video already where I contacted them and there was nobody who was there even to talk to who would understand the issue of elect electromagnetic radiation. They were just talking about, oh we provide you the service of communications. We don't care about how much it emits. We don't have any responsible for emissions of it. That's how they answer. It's just unbelievable. And uh, Swedish Radiation Protection Agency is an agency that we have been already contacting for 10 years, advising them on the right risk model of ionizing radiation. And it is just impossible to impact them. They are totally corrupt. So uh, forget the corrupt institutions. You, beloved, are the power. You and your wonderful friends and networks. You hold your courts. And you issue your own OXA money that you can find on loveorder.info of Indigenous World Order of Godland. 
And what else can be real money, if not by you yourself created? As you are the best security for human civilization, your energy, your love and your seed is the security of by you created real money. And you register your money in indigenous societies and then you make it converted in your local councils that have to convert indigenous society accounted by indigenous people created money that is the only legitimate money on Mother Earth. If it's not registered in indigenous societies, it is illegal, illegitimate war weapon of digital, digitally nowadays imposed destruction. May the gods be with us and together we stand here stronger than ever because we love each other and while we love each other the gods are with us and we are loved